do you wake up in the morning with having the best intentions throughout the day? Let's talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Tesla Therapy. As always, my name is William D. Bacari, the Agitated Rock on Twitter. You can find All of Us Studios content everywhere. We have a Patreon page, All of Us Studios. Go check us out where we have a few different tiers for you to subscribe, see our new content that's going to be coming out. Tesla Therapy is going to be a part of that release schedule. Our podcasts are going to be a part of that release schedule usinfinity.com is our website go check us out there we'll have some merch we're starting up a thing with teespring so check us out as well too guys today on tesla therapy we're going to be talking about intention and intentions throughout the day whether it be weeks or months or years or whatever intentions that you have let's talk about them today so especially in the entertainment world um, and this can bleed over to sports as well, too, if you guys talk and heard about our podcast with sports and entertainment, comparing sports to stage. Intention is something that is the through line in life. We have intentions. We always have something that we're striving towards. We always have something that we're trying to either get out of another person or get out of something for ourselves or all of the above. And so what does that mean? So obviously with that description, it sounds like intention can be a positive and a negative thing. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna focus a lot more on the positive, obviously, because that's what we do here with Tesla Therapy and with all of us studios as a whole, but we're also gonna feel out that negative and turn that negative into a positive as well too when it comes to intention. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be approaching this from an acting and a theatrical standpoint more or less, and like I said, it bleeds over to sports too. So with intention, as an actor, as a performer, you have to have intention. You have to have intentions, whether it be throughout a scene or throughout the entire play, whether you're shooting movies or television, it's all relatively the same when it comes to getting that other thing or specific circumstance out of the other person. And that comes with listening. Imagine that, right? So what's one of the most effective tools in communication? It's not talking. It's listening. Listen to what the other person says. Understand and process and hear them out to then be able to retort in a positive manner with the intention or the intent that you have with your statement. Now, that seems like a lot. It seems like, oh, well, I gotta think about this and then I gotta process this and then apply this and okay, pull this lever to be able to go and say the right thing. Well, mechanically, it's sort of like that, but it's a lot less convoluted inside of your head to be able to fire those processes. What do I mean by that? So as an actor in a scene, you have intentions. I'm gonna quote a little bit of teachings here um, that I've learned throughout my history, whether it be in college or vocational school afterward. In a scene, an actor can break down a scene in a multitude of ways. There's different studies, there's Uta Hagen, there's shirtless guide posts. There's a whole bunch of different ways that we can go down this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick to three categories. Tactics, fuel, and you guessed it, intention. So when an actor gets a scene or a side, that's what they're called in a play before you go on and audition for a role or something like that, you get a side. And so in the side, what you can do maybe not necessarily in the audition, but when you're preparing for the role, you can break it up into those three categories that I was talking about. Tactics, fuel, and intention. And you can kind of do this in real life as well too. You can definitely apply these skills and these attributes to be able to have an effective uh, conversation with somebody. So, tactics, let's start with tactics. What tactics am I gonna use to get what I want? What tools am I gonna use to be able to do that? How do I have that? What's in my arsenal to be able to either please understand, influence, or inspire this other person or this other thing that I want from it? So those are tactics. What are the tactics that I'm gonna use? What are the arsenal, what are the tools in my arsenal and in my tool belt to be able to use to get what I want? You then jump to fuel. What's fueling me to be able to want these intentions? Is it, is it 
fame? Is it more money? Is it something that is, you know, self-understood or just a just a peace and a calm and a zen that you're trying to create with inside yourself? What fuel do you have inside of you that's making you want that? What's your fuel? What's the driving force behind that? And a lot of those, usually when it comes to acting, are verbs. They're action words. And so you can kind of associate that in your through line to be able to get what you want. And then obviously the last thing is intention. And that kind of speaks for itself. What do I want out of this person? What do I want out of this conversation? What do I want for myself? And how do I get there in the most positive, neutral, and understanding way by listening and retorting accordingly? If there's one takeaway from this whole thing, guys, it's listen. Listen to what others say, process it, say things back that make sense, obviously, but also enlighten the conversation and not just shut a door and stop the conversation full stop. So understand each other, be better to each other as always. That's all I have for you guys today. I appreciate you being here as always. Much love and we'll see you around for next Tesla therapy. Take care guys.